Welcome to Airfield. Now, I did take some feedback from the last video, and I'm going to try and go through the more overall flow of the battle and the map, uh, just so, like, how the battle might start, and then how it progresses through the actual game. So, not only am I going to show you the spots, uh, I'm going to also show you the flow of the battle. Also, I'm going to show you, like, a quick two-minute version of the, of the spots where you can go. So, if you already kind of know the map, then you can then just go to these spots and you know what to do. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so the hot zones of the map. Heavy tanks are going to be around here. Uh, there's no real point of going anywhere else uh, because you're just going to get farmed. If you're a more faster heavy tank, then okay, maybe you could go somewhere else. Maybe you could go into the middle, but there isn't really any point of going anywhere other than here. Um, if you are in a medium tank, if you have a lot of gun depression, then you can go into the middle or you can go here. Uh, this spot is really nice, although it's not as powerful as this spot here. Um, just because you can't really see as much and you're going to have to over peak a lot to actually be able to shoot anyone that's around here. Light tanks, you're going to be active scouting around here or around here. There is a bush right here where you can actually sit and you'll be able to spot anyone that's here if they want to try and push around. Um, TDs, you're going to be sitting right here and here. Not really much point of going anywhere else, honestly. A TD could go here, but then at the same time, you're kind of going here and there's not always action here. Whereas there is always going to be some form of action around here. Literally, always. There, I've never played this map and someone hasn't been here. Because th this is the biggest hot zone of the map overall. Okay, so how does this map actually flow? And then we're going to get into the, all the positions. Well, the map usually goes from everyone is going to be sitting around here in a stalemate until someone makes a mistake. Now, either side is kind of it's kind of the same because you have the TDs that are sitting along here and here. So as soon as someone does make a mistake, you're still going to be technically stuck. Now, the only real way of actually winning this map is if you take the middle and then you can flank around. Literally, these are the only flanking spots. You could go here and then up here and then here. But at the same time, as soon as you go do that, you're then exposed from this spot here or these spots around here and you're just going to die. So as soon as you win the middle, you need to really push this as fast as possible before they realize it, or, you know, as much as you can. And then you can get some flanking shots on and then help your team here. The only way that you're going to win this is if your team actually wins the middle. Because as soon as you win this, you're not only going to be shot at by the middle, you're going to always be shot at by here and anyone else that is sitting here still that hasn't been killed already from here. This position is just so campy and you have to wait so long to be able to do anything. It's kind of, it's kind of stupid. Like, this map design, I don't like at all, and it's one of the campiest maps of the game. There's not really any flanking spots, apart from if you go up here, and even then, I wouldn't really call this a great flanking spot. Um, you can't go here, because as soon as you go out here, you're going to be spotted by anyone that's sitting in these bushes along here. It's just kind of, yeah, it, it's not a very active map. But anyway, once you do win this, then you can push this. You can either wait and then try and kill the TDs if you have your team pushing this. But I mean, if you've won this already and you push here and you win this, you've basically won the game at this point. Like, there's not really much else you can do. So the overall throw of the map is mediums and light tanks are going to go here. You're going to be sitting here for a good amount of time. Heavy tanks and the more heavily armoured medium tanks are going to be sitting here. And you're going to be sitting here for a very long amount of time. TDs, you're going to be sitting here and here. Then, I mean, you're just going to be waiting. This map is all about waiting. And that's the overall flow of the map. You're going to be starting here, wait, and then you'll push. It's not like other maps where you can actually, you know, push um, reliably. So that is the overall flow of how the map works out. And it's exactly the same. I mean, this map is kind of symmetrical um, as much as a map kind of could be that looks like this. Um, so yeah, it works kind of for both sides. But let's get into some of the spots now, starting off the light tanks. The first spot that I'm going to show you is just the middle of the map. Now this spot is 
yeah, it, it works. Although, at the same time, I mean, this is the only kind of spot that you would really use at the start of the game. Uh, you could go up the left-hand side, then go around, or you could just do this. I mean, each one of them work. It doesn't really matter how you get to the middle of the map, just as long as you get there. Now, from here, you can then quickly go into these bushes, and then you'll actually spot anyone that's pushing through here. This is great information for your team to find out just how many people is actually going to this location here. EBRs, you're going to love this spot. Not only is it within your view range, you know, but for the tanks that have more view range as well, you're going to even spot TDs that are getting into position. Um, anyone that's trying to go up through here, as you can see here, that's around this rock here, um, you're going to spot them. So as soon as TDs are trying to get into position, you'll spot them. So your team will then know how many TDs and what TDs are going to be sitting at the back of the map. Um, so this spot is gain gaining you loads of vision. And if you have a platoon of light tanks, you can even try and hold off anyone that's going to be trying to push in this. So also fast and medium tanks, you could use this position as well. Um, wouldn't really recommend it for the slower medium tanks because by the time that you get here, the light tanks or medium tanks are already going to be up on this ridge line. Uh, but yeah, once you do that, just back off and then go somewhere else. Okay, so the light tank spot number two. Now this is going to be this bush over here. Now to get here, there's one of two ways of doing it. Um, I would just advise going as fast as possible because then you don't have to waste any time. Or you could go around here and then up and then around like that. That's the more safer route. This is the more risky route. I mean, if you have a fast tank, it's not going to matter. So just go as fast as you can to this bush. And then as soon as you get into this bush, you're then pretty safe. As long as you have good camera rating, you're good. The only thing that you need to watch out for is that you don't knock that tree over. One right here. Because if you do, then obviously someone is going to know that you're going to be in this bush. And then they're going to try and blind fire it. Another thing to watch for is that if they get spotted, more than likely, people will know about this bush. So you, they could blind fire it if they're spotted instantly. If there's no other tanks that are around. But from this position, you can see pretty much everything. As you can see, it is the bushy bush, so you're not going to be spotted through it. It's not one of those fake bushes. Uh, but yeah, you can see pretty much everything. I mean, anyone that peeks out through here, which is going to be quite a few heavy tanks... You'll be fine. They'll spot you. Uh, sorry, you'll spot them. Um, and unless they have like some kind of godly view range and you don't have very good camera rating, you won't be spotted. So, I mean, the only the only thing that you really need to watch out for is if an M48 pattern comes around that corner and you're in something like an EBR and doesn't have good view rate, uh, doesn't have good uh, camera rating, then yeah, you might get spotted because of the pattern. But if you're in this bush, then you should be okay. Moving on to the other side of the map. Hello, little Peyton Noob. But into the middle. So this spot will counter anyone that's trying to push this. Um, it should be faster than the person that's going to go all the way through here, then up and then into that bush. However, if, it, if you know, you're coming up against an EBR and you're in a more slower tank or more slower light tank, then obviously it's not, you're probably not going to get there before he does. But at the same time, that position is more all about just getting there, spotting, than going away. Uh, you don't want to be sitting in that bush for too long. But straight away, you just go up here, you spot anyone that's that's around here, and anyone that's going to be around here. So just playing anywhere around this kind of area is just what you want to do. Um, there are a few bushes that you can go to. Um, thank you so much for the loud siren. But you can go into this bush right here. And because your team's going to be more than likely in these bushes here, you're not going to get spotted unless someone pushes all the way up. Now, from here, you can actually spot a few people that are going to be here. From here, it's right there. So, heavy tanks, you're probably going to spot. So, you could sit in this bush right here and then just, you know, farm people. You could go back through the bush and then shoot. Although, you know, don't do that. Uh, you need a bit more of a higher up tank than this. Um, but... Yeah, this spot can work. So, the next spot over this side of the map. Now, this is going to be similar to this side, but just in one of these bushes over here. Um, you can actually choose one of two locations. Uh, again, you can go for the more direct route, or you can go for the safer route. Although, if you're in a light tank, it's not really going to matter, because you should get there before anyone else does. 
and unless there's going to be an EBR or something actively spotting around here, you should be okay. Um, the first bush is one right here, although it doesn't really give you too much view range. Sure, like you're going to be able to spot people that are around here and some people that go a bit too wide over here. But there, it's, there's a rock in the way from, that's actually blocking you from actually spotting anyone that comes down here for the close side. So that's why I would prefer or do say that you go into this bush over here. Now from this bush... You do need to be careful when you're going into it because you might still get spotted. Um, especially if a light tank is coming through the through that bit of the map and as you come across, they could easily spot you as you do that. So that is something that you need to watch out for. But from here, you can basically see anything that comes down. Uh, this, is, this is the danger zone over here and also up here is where the TD is going to be sitting. As well as that some tanks might sit down here to try and get a hold down location on anyone that's pushing through here. So they're the danger zones that you need to watch out for in this position. So in the medium tanks, uh, again, you could go to the middle of the map and just kind of play that kind of peeking up shooting role. Um, or you could go to this position right here, which is what I'm going to show you now. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to show you the middle because I've already shown you in the light tanks and any other position that I show or tell you that you could go to and I've already kind of shown the base location I'm not going to show again for obvious reasons but you go up here if you have a fast medium tank this works if you have a slow medium tank it doesn't work the reason being as soon as you go up here you are very much exposed by anyone that is going to do the same thing but on the opposite side as you come up here and if you get spotted a TD that's sitting over there very easily can shoot you and that, that could be your game completely over. So this is very risky if you're in a slower medium tank. Uh, but if you're in a fast one, then I would definitely say this is kind of more rewarding for the risk. So the risk versus the reward is quite good. Um, the only thing is that you need to actually have people that are going to be trying to peek up on the middle. Um, and you just want to be sitting in this bush and just peeking, shooting... Uh, you can peek through a little bit more and then shoot anyone that might be sitting over there. Although, I don't recommend anyone sits here. It's kind of not even worth it. Um, even if you're in a TD, if you're in a TD, sit there. Because that is the best location for you to be. Um, yeah, I don't recommend anyone sitting over this side of the map because it's kind of not really worth it. Um, because at the same time, if they do win the middle then you're going to be the first one to die, apart from anyone that went into the middle. And also, not only did these people over here get shots on the middle, so what, what? what's the point? Like, you could either sit here or go over there and do exactly the same. Well, actually, you'll do more over there than you would over here, and you won't die. So, yeah, that's just my opinion on that position over there. But... This position, as you can see, lots and lots of vision, and you can just peek through a little bit more. You cannot shoot the person that's over here unless you go all the way out, and I really don't recommend doing that because that is just... It's almost suicide at that point. Uh, but what I will say is that you can get down through here and into the middle if you want to. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, say your team dies here, and then you can actually... Uh, or sorry, the enemy is pushing through here. So then you can just go down here, make sure that you just follow this little path here, and then you go here, and you're down successfully into the middle of the map. And then you can have free shots on anyone that's pushing up through here. So that's obviously a very nice position with a lot of kind of flexibility. Uh, and yeah, it's just a really nice position for medium tanks. Uh, anywhere else... You can go into the middle, as I've said, uh, but that's kind of the only position that you can go to. The only other position, which I don't really recommend because you can get stuck on, is down here, and then you go to these bushes or these rocks over here. Um, I don't really want to show you that because it, if you go here and then there's enemies, you're just stuck, and there's nothing you can do. Uh, so that's why I would suggest go either going here or into the middle, um, because even if the enemies come through here, they're then going to still die to anyone that's in the middle because they'll just have three shots on them. So, yeah, this bit does work sometimes, but it's very rare that you're actually going to survive because as soon as you actually win this middle bit and you push up through here, 
then if you're in this position, you have three shots on anyone and also you actually can spot them as they're pushing up. So it's kind of a win-win situation for the people over here and you're just going to lose. Like sure, you might win this bit, but you're going to lose as soon as you try and push. So yeah, that's why I don't really recommend going down here. Okay, so on the other side of the map, exactly the same thing, but exactly the other side. So you're just going to be rushing this. Uh, you can, if you spawn up here, then you can go through this and then go through here, uh, which is actually a little bit faster. Uh, the only thing that I will say about this side is it's a lot harder to get down off of these cliffs um, because it's a lot steeper and it's a lot more, um, it's a lot more of a drop. Whereas over there, you can just kind of slide off and it's not too bad. Uh, same thing though, you need to be careful as you come up here just in case. Uh, but from here, you actually have a lot more vision than the other side. So you can actually just go here and hide in the bushes. And you'll spot anyone in the middle or even anyone that's pushing down here. And as you can see, you have full vision all the way up to nearly that kind of bottom of the ramp there. So you have a lot of vision. And anyone that's going to be camping around here, even in this bush, or coming out of the spawn and going along here, you're going to be able to see them. So this spot is very powerful, and also you have this big old bush to conceal yourself when you shoot through it um, to anyone in the middle. So this position is really nice. Uh, again, you need to be careful if you kind of want to go down here, then you need to slide off very carefully. Um, and also you can go into the middle of the map uh, with a lot more ease than the last one because you just go down here and then there you go. You're right here. So, both of these positions are exactly the same, pretty much. Um, the only difference is that up here, you obviously have a lot more of an easy decline. Like, you just go here and like that. You don't really even take any damage. Uh, whereas the other side of the map, it's a lot, it's a little bit more steeper. Uh, as I'll show you now, it's, it can be done, but at the same time, you know, you got to be very careful of when you go down. Um, there's a bug in the physics at the moment where you can actually take zero full damage. Like right there, how I went down, that's kind of a little bit of a bug because I should have taken at least some damage from that. Um, but most of the time, you are going to take damage as you fall down this part of the map. Okay, so heavy tanks. You're going to come to this location and you can either go here... And you just need to be careful of, obviously, these bushes over there and also this rock. Some people go all the way up to this rock to try and spot. It's not worth it uh, because not only are you probably going to get spotted as you go up to the rock, um, you're also going to probably take a lot of damage as you go up to the rock. And then once you're there, you're just stuck. There's nothing you can do once you get to this rock. Um, as you can see, it's very open either side. It's not worth it to go to that rock. Uh, but yeah, heavy tanks, you just want to be pu pushing around here, um, peeking, trying to take a shot. You need to be careful of TDs if they are sitting in that bush with the light tanks. Um, so yeah, just watch out for that. Uh, the only other spot over here for the heavy tanks is around this bit. Again, you need to watch out for the middle on this bit here and this bit here. Uh, they're the two main points that you're going to get shot at by the middle. And as you come round, some people might be stupid enough to sit here. Uh, so if you peek around, spot them, and then pull back, your TDs, if they're sitting up here, should be able to deal with them pretty easily. Um, the only other thing is that you push all the way around here just to try and spot the TDs. Uh, but remember, this is at the maximum view range, or the maximum spotting range. So it's going to be a lot harder for you to actually spot them if they are sitting there. Because if they're sitting still, they're going to have a good camera rating, and it's going to be, you know, a lot harder for you to spot them. Uh, so you need to be really careful as you crest this kind of... Uh, this bit of the map because you could easily get smacked for all your health uh, straight away now over the other side it's exactly the same story you're just gonna be trying to peek this uh, again you need to be careful of actually anyone sitting that up here because they could actually be outside your spotting range and then they'll still be able to shoot you and if there's a TD sitting right at the back then they'll be able to shoot you with pretty much ease because there's no cover here at all um, so all that it takes is just a heavy tank to come around this corner, spot you, and then you could be dead. Uh, you know, imagine an FV sitting over there, and then he's just going to almost one-tap you. So, you know, it's a, it's a very dangerous spot to peek over there. Uh, again, you could peek over here, but you need to be careful of anyone that's sitting along this ridge line from the TDs, and also anyone that's sitting up there. Although, again, if they're sitting up there, your TDs should be able to deal with them. 
Uh, coming around here, you do actually have a lot of cover from this rock. Um, the only place that you need to be careful of is this point over here, where people can sit and then they can, you know, shoot the middle. Uh, so yeah, watch out for that. But that's about it for the heavy tanks. There's not really a lot you can do on this map for heavy tanks. Um, so yeah, that's that. Okay, so for the TDs, uh, this is going to be pretty easy. You just go up this hill and you wait. That's, I'm not joking, this is what you do in the TD. Um, you know, this, obviously TDs are the more snipers kind of, ga uh, ga kind of gameplay. Um, if you like that kind of gameplay, then yep, yeah, good on you. Um, for me, this is way too campy. Um, although, you know, now and again, yeah, okay, TDs can work. But I'm the more heavy tank player, I like to be in the in the front of it. Uh, but yeah, just anywhere around here, you can sit and it's pretty pretty open but also you get you get quite a bit of cover like there's lots of bushes that you can sit in so you shouldn't be spotted unless you're in a very big TD uh, if you're in a more heavily armored TD like an object 268 version 4 then you already know you play that more like a heavy tank um, and go in there because you have stupidly broken armor that for some reason still hasn't been sorted out uh, but yeah that's, there's the TD spot number one another spot over here um, Again, I already spoke about this. You can go over here and then you can basically see anything that's around here and you're not always going to get spotted. Uh, you also get this nice ridge line so you could hide your lower plate if you're in one of those tanks that can do that. Uh, but yeah, this spot, again, is very nice for TDs. Um, I would move, if you lose this position and you can see that you're losing this position quite badly, then if you're in a faster TD, then just come up for here and go to here and you can get a little bit more damage done before you die. Because in, in those kind of situations where you know that your team is going to lose and you just want to do a bit more damage before you die, then just back off, go up there. And if you don't die from going across, then great, because then you can get more damage. But if you die going across, then you're not really going to lose much because, okay, you might get one more shot of damage. But, you know... Yeah, just, you can back off and then go over here. Um, you could go f here at the start of the game and then try and help your heavy tanks for anyone that's pushing around here. Um, but yeah, that's uh, let's move on to another spot. Now, this spot over here, I don't recommend you would go to um, just because I feel that these two spots offer a lot more potential damage and help for your team than these spots over here do. Um, now... You can go over here if you're in a more heavily armoured tank, or you could just back off and try and get into these bushes and then shoot from here. Um, you do have quite a bit of bush here that you can actually go into and shoot from, and also anyone that comes down through here, you're going to be able to shoot them. As I've already said, you know, that spot down there is kind of useless because you're just going to die as soon as you try and push it. Um, but yeah, this spot's okay, although you, you can't even see half of the map. Um, you are very much putting all your eggs into one basket and only going for this bit of the map. Um, you can't even really see all of, you know, this bit here, where a lot of the tanks are going to be. Um, you know, this bit over here is where the, most of the action in the middle is going to take place. And you can't even really see that unless you go all the way down here into this bush right there. It doesn't really work. There's no point of going here. Um... Unless you know all the tanks are going to be over here. So that's the only reason why I kind of added this position in. As this is kind of a late game position. Uh, if you do, you know, all die. You can fall back to this bush here. And if you, you know, or if you see your team has fallen over this side of the map. And you're, you're sitting over here. If you're in a very fast light uh, uh, tank destroyer. Then you can go all the way back here. And then try and kill them as they're pushing through. Um, also to decap the base, this is another great spot, you can push through here, spot them, decap, pull back. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend going here at the start of the game, uh, just because of the reasons that I've already mentioned. Okay, and the final location, uh, and I would say this is the only location that you should go in your TDs if you spawn this side of the map. Uh, you can go into this bush over here, as I've already shown where the light tanks go, uh, but at the same time, you know, if you, if this team loses over here, you're then stuck. You can't go anywhere. Whereas if you go over here, you can, you can fall back. You can go and shoot and continue fighting. Uh, the two bushes that you want to go to is one in here 
where you can shoot anyone that's going to be pushing up. And as I said, you can shoot anyone that pushes up early through here, up there, pretty easily. Like, that is a very big shot that you can take straight away early on in the game. Uh, you can see it even more clearly here. Um, yeah. It's the same for the other side of the map. It's easy shots for going up here and going up here. Uh, so, yeah. Anywhere around here, basically, uh, you just want to be sitting. Uh, you can use this rock as cover. Uh, one thing I will say uh, that I missed, if you're playing your heavy tanks and you go around here, you are not artillery safe. Um, a lot of the time you're going to be just permanently stunned, permanently getting shot at by artillery. Um, yeah, it's not a nice time playing this map if you're a heavy tank. Because not only can you not push, you're basic, there is nowhere that you can go that you're safe from artillery. So you're just going to have to sit there being spotted because you're in a proximity range of the enemy just getting dumped on by artillery. Like, this is probably one of the best maps for artillery because there's nothing they can do and you can just sit here just farming them. Um, so yeah, there's that. But yeah, that's been the video. Uh, hopefully you learned something or at least you found this useful in some way. Um, but yeah. If you did enjoy this video, then leave a like, uh, follow me on Twitch, uh, I'm going to be streaming there more often now. It's been a while since I made a video, I know, uh, I kind of just took like a week off um, and didn't do anything. But, yeah, I'm back, no, video is going to be more regularly now, and I'll see you in the next one. You can just quickly go here and just go right like this, and then get down on here and make sure you don't die. But, uh, oh, oh. Oh, for fuck's sake.